Yeah, actually, I, so I mentioned this in my last letter, the latest one, um, that there are two important things for a human to be human, I think. And one of them is to know yourself. Uh, and the other one is to know the world. And you kind of have to, they have to go hand in hand. So to break it down, and I don't do a very good job of this in the letter, I don't think, because like, so one of the issues that I have is I feel like the letters get too long. And so I don't write like, like a full paper or anything like that, right, in the letters. <laughs> um, but in terms of what I think about, in terms of um, knowing yourself, a lot of it is sort of like the Socratic meaning of like being consistent with your values and how your behaviors match your values and always sort of like self-interrogating and making sure that that consistency is there. Um, but that also means you need to develop certain values and, and, and know what those values are and everything, right? So you, you, need to, you need to know yourself enough to know what your values are and then, and then also make sure that whatever you're doing, what job you end up taking, what um, courses you take or whatever, or what the things that you get into, how you relate, you relate to other people and all that stuff, all that is in line with these values that, you, that you've determined that you should have, um, right? So that's knowing yourself, but it can't be decontextualized. It has to be within a larger social context, um, which, which is you have to know about the world. You have to know what's going on. You have to know yeah. how our society is being governed and and what direction it's going and everything, because um, um, you can't you can't just focus on yourself, um, because if you do, then you might lose track of this world that you're in that is going to constrain you in certain ways, so that you 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 no longer have agency on mm -hmm. yourself, right? So you need yeah. to make sure that like you're able to. Uh, be agentive and be true to yourself but you have to make sure that you're in a you're in a particular context so that you are allowed to, to do that mm -hmm. um, and you know you have to know what's going on in the world and everything and keep informed and, and just and just be aware of, of of all that stuff and then on top of all that you know um i would also argue you should you should all this is is towards um making sure everyone can do this you know everyone should be allowed to have the freedom to 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 be able to express themselves and be true to themselves and everyone should be should have room in whatever society that they live in to be able to do this sort of exploration um and and maintenance and and um live you know live happy right I mean, this is American dream is like living everyone, everyone should have equal access to happiness. That's not what's been going on, you know, and it's arguably never what's been going on in the US. Um, but it is one of the values that we say that we have. Um, it isn't um, just because it hasn't been true for everyone uh, doesn't mean we shouldn't always struggle for it. Um, and in order to be true to that value of, as a society means you have to know what's going on in a society. And, um, and for that struggle to happen means you need to know what's been going on so, so that you can do that struggle. Um, you know, and so that's, it's hard to hear. Like when I was in undergrad, I was not really into politics and stuff like that. Um, and most of my relatives or whatever, when I talk to them, most of my friends or whatever, we just don't talk about these things. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. um, I think we need a change. And, and I'm hopeful that Gen Z and millennials are different than the Gen Xers. Um, and not to say that like a lot of the Gen Xers have the right values, I think, but they haven't mobilized in a way to then be consistent with those values as a society. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'm hopeful that millennials and, and, and Gen Z can sort of rectify that. Me too, yeah. yeah. Um, I 
but that, you know, start, a lot of it starts with education. And a lot of students that I have are like first year students and they have, you know, they've never thought about this stuff before. So like, um, and I wish I had someone like this. I wish I had someone sort of opening up my world, my political world um, when I was an undergrad. So I'm trying to do that with my students. You've definitely inspired me. I'm, I'm, if you're comfortable, I'd, I'd like, like to, well, if, and if I have, if I have um, the time and space with the other things I want to accomplish, I guess, but I, I think uh, the idea of y your idea was just a really good one. I mean, it, it's uh, being able to, because I, like I said before, it's kind of like your, your letter accomplishes several different things at once you know and one of them is what you just said which is kind of like opening up their kind of minds to what's happening uh in the news but with more context to it as well as doing that in a way that's thinking about the well-being of themselves as well as everyone <laughs> you know that, that's I think that's um, I think that's pretty special so um so thank you i guess for inspiring me yeah. oh yeah absolutely i'm it's gratifying to hear that it's reaching some people and reaching you um i do worry that like i'm being too proselytizing like <laughs> i'm being too zealous in in that you know not everyone i recognize not everyone shares the same values as me um mm. But I'm trying to get them to have the same values as me. Like, it's, <laughs> it's selfish. Like, part of the, the, the that letter writing is selfish. Like, I see my opportunity to shape young people to a particular vision of how I want the world to be. And so I'm going to take that opportunity, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just feel like you know, part of it is selfish, but it's it's a different type of selfish. It's not greed. I was gonna say, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, it's not it's not the same type of selfish that I think a, a bunch of Republicans are are um, subscribed to. <laughs> yeah, yeah.